Oh man, these are going to be so good. Gee, how's yours coming? Um, I think it's looking pretty great in here. I'm not going to lie, Pastor Carl. It's looking pretty really? good. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear because Christmas cookies are one of my favorite things to eat at Christmas time. Okay. I think, I think I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. Here. It's, it's so beautiful. Let me show you. This is what okay, I finished. Let's see. Let's Here's see my it. cookie. Ta-da! Wow. I mean, a snowman. That's a nice touch. I know. It's I just a, rolled it out. Rolled and that's out. what wow. I got. That's, that's pretty amazing. That's pretty great. Pastor yeah. Carl, I like but, baking. Yeah. But, but okay. Ready? I'm ready. Check this show out. me your cookie. Show me the cookie. Ta-da! Um. I think you forgot that the cookie, kids, it's not even baked. Gee, you gotta oh. bake your cookie, man. Oh, I guess that's why it's like, oh. Yeah. Um, man, I knew I was forgetting cookies. something Cookies, legs important. are falling off. I knew I was forgetting something important. Well, today. we'll bake that cookie. Hey kids, I'm Pastor Carl, and this is Mr. G, and it's snowing here on Kids Church TV. Oh. Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another great day here on Kids Church TV. Yeah, and hey, guess what? It's Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you too. Okay, well, maybe not the exact day of Christmas, not but yet. it's our special Christmas episode. It sure is, and I love Christmas time. The snow, the hot chocolate, the fireplaces, the blankets, and oh, the so snuggly Christmas onesies. Wait, 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 wait. A, a, a onesie? I mean, okay, okay, that's, yeah. that's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. Yeah, but I mean, it's cozy. Carl, yeah, it is cozy. But I know that you know what makes Christmas really great, right? Of like, of course I do. It's Jesus, obviously. Mm. Oh man, that is so well said. All those other things, they're they're nice. But I mean, Christmas is truly wonderful because it's the time we take to remember the birth of Jesus. It really is the most wonderful time of year. Anyway, we're excited for you boys and girls to be with us here today. So why don't you come with Mr. G and I over to the studio and we'll see what our big idea is for today. That's All right? That's a great idea. Right, come let's on, go. let's go. Let's go. Man, I just love how the studio has been Christmified. Pastor Carl, was this you? Did you do this? Nope. This is my Christmas tree. Oh, well, sweet eggnogs and cookies. That is, that is one tiny tree. I guess it's pretty easy to decorate that one, am I right? Yeah, you want to know how long it took me to decorate it? Yeah, how long? That long. Oh, wow. That's okay. how long it took me. Okay. All right, boys and girls, tighten up your Snuggies and heat up your hot chocolate. Our big idea for today, drum roll, Jesus comes to us. Where? Where? No, no, Where? no, no. Jesus isn't here like you and me that we can see him. Oh, so what, what does that mean then? Well, you see, in our big God story, we've been learning all about God's promises and how from the beginning, God promised to send a savior to fix people's broken relationships with him. Today, we get to finally see that promise come true. That is what Jesus comes to us means, my friend. Oh, okay, well, that is just the most B-E-A, beautiful yeah. thing. Yes, it I is. Have ever heard. I'm so excited for our Bible teaching for today. But before we get there, let's practice our memory verse. Yes. Okay, boys and girls, our verse comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21. And it says this She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. All right, let's try that again, but with some words taken away this time, all right? right? I'll help you out okay. too. Okay. All right, let's say, say it with me, boys and girls. Matthew 1, 21. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Oh, good job. That is such a wonderful promise. Jesus comes to save us and fix our relationship with God. We hope that gets you excited just like it does us. So wherever you are right now, let's stand up and let's sing to Jesus who has come to save us from our sins. So go on, let's get go, up and let's up. sing together. Say 
Yes, Senor Carl. I'm cold. Uh, you're old. No, I'm cold. Ah, uh, it's probably because you're old. Anyway. I need more yes, sweaters. you do. But yeah. hey, Senor Carl, I've celebrated Christmas 92 times, and each time I'm just amazed. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. I hear you. Mm. Barely. Yeah. I can barely hear you, mm. but I hear you. It just never gets old. Mm. Unlike us, mm. we are getting very old. Mm. It really is the most amazing story ever told. I mean, God's big story. God sending <clears throat> his one and only son to earth. It gets me every time. Uh, it's, oh. it's great that we could get together again in someone's, <laughs> someone's living room. Someone's living yeah, room. Yeah, and talk yeah. about God's big story. Oh. I mean, how many years have we been doing this now? We started that one year. And then we did it some more, yeah. and then there was, I ran out of fingers. Yeah. A long time. It's been a long time. Well, yeah. in honor of all those years and God's big story, I got you a little present over there. You got me a present? Yeah, there you go. Take that right oh, there. Mr. G. Yes. Oh, I'm, thank you. You're welcome. Is it, is it a hat for my hands? No. Is it socks for my bacon? I mean, no. socks with bacon on it. No. And it's not muffins either, I can tell you that. It's just, not Miss no, Ma'am's muffins. Just, just go ahead and Those open it. Those would be very old. Just go ahead and open it. Hey, look at that. It's a nativity. Yes. Take uh, it out. There it is. Oh, uh, nativity. There it is. I, just, I just know that you love the true meaning of Christmas, so I thought this would be a great way for you to remember. This is fantastic. Mm. I'm going to keep it up all year round. Thank yeah, can you. can put it right here. Can you help me set it yeah, up? Yes, absolutely. All right. And while we're setting it up, maybe we can talk about the story of Christmas. Great why, idea. Why don't you look Carl. it up in the Bible? Oh, that's, that's the best idea you've had in 50 years. Probably. Let me, let me open our Bible here, and we'll look at the true story of Christmas. All right. Mm. This is the true story of the first Christmas. God's greatest gift to us, our rescuer, Jesus Christ, was about to come to earth, and he would save his people from their sins. Senior Carl, listen to this. To prepare the world, God asked different men and women to prophesy 
or foretell that Jesus, the promised one, was coming. These people were called prophets. Hundreds of years before Jesus was born, God told the prophets to share things about the coming Messiah, the one who God had been promising since the beginning of time. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in a land of deep darkness, on them a light has shone. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son and we will call him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. But you, O Bethlehem, are only a small village, yet a ruler of Israel will come out of you. For a child is born to us, a son is given to us, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. He will rule with fairness and justice for all eternity. The nation of Israel carried the promises of the prophets for many long years. The people awaited the arrival of this Savior. He would be a light in the darkness. He would be born of a virgin. He would be born in Bethlehem. He would be wonderful, mighty, everlasting, bringing peace and ruling justly for all eternity. Oh, wow. That's so good. Now, When God was ready to give Jesus to the world, he chose a woman named Mary to be his mother. Mary lived in a little village of Nazareth and was engaged to be married to Joseph, a humble carpenter who lived nearby. One day, Mary was alone. Here, here's Mary. I'll take Mary and I'll I'll And God sent his messenger, Gabriel, to appear Mm. before her. Mm. There you go. There's Gabriel. All right, this. Yeah. Greetings, favored woman. The Lord is with you. Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be very, very great, and he will be called Son of the Most High God. His kingdom will never, ever end. I am the Lord's servant. Even though I am frightened and confused, I will trust in God's plan. May everything you have said about me come true. Now, not long after he had spoken to Mary, the angel Gabriel appeared to Joseph one night as he slept. In Joseph's dream, the angel of the Lord told him of God's plan to send his son as a baby. All right, here's Uh, Joseph. Joseph. There he is. Joseph, son of David, do not fear to take Mary as your wife, for that which is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from all their sins. Joseph and Mary left Nazareth to return to the small village of Bethlehem, about 90 miles away, where Joseph had been born. It was a difficult journey across the hot land, but after six long days and nights, they finally reached Bethlehem. By then, Mary was very tired and about to give birth. But when they arrived, the city was already very Mm. crowded with other people who had come back to be registered and all the inns were full all of them but joseph sought shelter at several inns anyway in the hope that someone might spare a room for mary come my beloved come come this way hello please we have traveled a long way and my wife is very tired do you have any rooms in your inn i have no rooms in this inn I'm so sorry. Careful, careful, careful. Hello? Please, we have traveled a long way and my wife is very tired. 
Do you have any room in your inn? I am so sorry. We gave away the last key ten minutes ago. You're gonna have to move along, sir. Have a nice day. Hello? Please. We have traveled a long way and my wife is very tired. Do you have any room in your inn? I, I don't have any room in this inn, but but it looks like your wife's about to give birth. Yes, yes. And, and I have a stable in the back. You, you can stay there. Oh, thank you so much for your kindness. Thank you, sir. Yes, please, thank you. The stable mm. was for animals. Mm. Here you go, here's some All parts. Right. Let's put them up. They were for the donkeys. Yes. Here's the donkey. There's that. He's saying hi. The donkey. They're for the cattle. Yeah, there some you cows. go. And uh, here's a couple of sheep. Oh, some sheep. There you go. Let's put some sheep over yeah, here. Yeah, the people had brought with them. But Mary and Joseph were grateful for any shelter mm -hmm. that they could get that night in the little town of Bethlehem. Mm -hmm. That night, Mary gave birth to the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the everlasting Prince of Peace. He was born to a simple carpenter and his wife. Yes. Why don't you put Mary and Joseph in the stable there? Yes. And to make the baby Jesus very comfortable, Mary, she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him down gently in the soft hay in the manger. And here you go. Here's baby Jesus. Yes. Jesus was born. We'll put baby Jesus in the, in the manger. There, there we, we go. go. Now Jesus was the promised one. The one the prophecies were all about. Amen. Let me see if I remember. Mm. You do. He was born. Yep. He was to be born. Yep. Of a virgin. Yes. He was to be born in Bethlehem. Yes. Yep. Yes. He was to be a light in the dark. Amen. He was to be called Wonderful Counselor. Yes. Mighty God. Everlasting Father and Prince of Peace. Yes, yes, yes. He was all those things. Amen. Yes. Blessed am I among women, for the Christ child is here, the promised one, the Savior of the world. We will call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Meanwhile, that same night, there were shepherds yes. watching their flock of sheep mm. on the steep hills surrounding Bethlehem. The shepherds were poor men, rough and simple. For them, night was usually dark and cold and lonely, but not this night. Here yes. you go. Here's a shepherd. There's a shepherd. Watch his head. Yes, we'll put him here beside the sheep. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, there, there. we go. To everyone else, shepherds were considered low and unimportant men. But that night that Jesus was born, an angel suddenly appeared above the shepherds in the sky. God chose these men to receive this great news. What great news yes. it was. Yes. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, a child, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. Please, tell us where we can find him. We want to see this amazing baby for ourselves. Go to Bethlehem. You will find a baby wrapped in snuggly strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Let us go to Bethlehem! Yes! Let us go see this wonderful child that they told us about! The shepherds were the first to see and worship the baby Jesus. Mm. Greetings! Joy to the world! The Lord, the promised Savior, has come! Jesus had not come just for the shepherds. He had come for everyone. Everyone! For you, Senior Carl. For me, Grandpa G. And for you, boys and girls, the savior of the world had come. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's good. Ah, I just love that story. Oh, well, wait, we're not done. What? There's still pieces in the box. What? Let me see. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, well, mercy me. Poke me all over with a toothpick. Uh, well, how about How's just my... a cane? Yes, the... ah. sorry, sorry. <laughs> how could my impeccable memory forget? All right. Continue, continue. All right. In a land far to the east of Bethlehem, there were wise men of great knowledge, and they noticed an unusually bright star in the sky when Jesus was born. That star is amazing. It is so bright. 
Yes, it is. It's like it's trying to, to tell us something. Maybe it is. Could it be a sign that the Savior has come, the one the prophets wrote about long ago? Yes, yes, that is it. Let's follow it. The wise men journeyed a long way. Very long. Faithfully following the star shining brightly in the sky until it stood over Bethlehem where Jesus was. All right, <clears throat> here are some wise men. Okay. There's one. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Yes. There you go. Two. When they saw Jesus, yes. the three wise men fell on their knees in humble worship. We have found God's son. I will honor him with precious gold. He has come to bring us peace. I will honor him with sweet smelling frankincense. He will be our savior. I honor him with myrrh. The three wise men knelt together and worshiped this newborn king and honored Jesus with their gifts. Yes, yes. Oh, now is that the end? Is it, is it, are there any more pieces? No, there's oh. no more pieces. Oh. That's the end of the story of the birth of Jesus, okay. but it definitely is not the end of God's big story. Ah. Jesus came as our rescuer, our savior, to save us from our sin. Like our verse says, you shall call his name Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. I'm so thankful that Jesus came mm -hmm. to save me from my sins when I was just a young wee lad so many, many years ago. I put my faith and trust in Jesus as my savior, and I'm so glad that I did and that you did, Senior Carl. Mm -hmm. So let's stand up now. Boys and girls, let's stand up now. Come on. I need to stretch my old Come legs. On. And let's worship Come Jesus on. for coming go. to this earth to save us. Let's stand. Let's go. Ahead. go. Let's Santa, sing. We did stand it. Up. You can Come do on. it. Let's Come on. Sing. All right. Let's sing. You know something? Hey, what's up? Well, a lot of people get excited about presents and food and yummy desserts during Christmas. Mm. And I know I love eggnog, Ooh, but eggnog. the best part about Christmas is Jesus Christ. Christ is literally in the word Christmas. It's Christ Christmas. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Jesus Christ really is the reason that Christmas even exists. Okay. Well, with that said, we got some questions to get to for today. Okay. But say, Pastor Carl, why don't you first tell us what question you kind of maybe are a lot excited about for today? Okay, question number one says, what would it have been like for you if you had been one of the shepherds listening to all those angels praising God? That would have been so exciting. Oh my goodness, that would have been, that would have been so cool to be, to be there, to see that happening. Oh, wow. Remember, boys and girls, you will go and talk about this question and more with someone in your classroom or in your home as soon as we're done here today. Oh, Christmas, what a joyful time of year to be reminded that Jesus comes to us. Oh, well, 
That is just the best thing ever. And here's the thing. While Christmas is just one day, we can spend every day of the year thinking about how amazing that is. Yeah, you're so right. There are hundreds of other days in the year where we can remember the truth that Jesus comes to yes. us and that he loves us and that he fixed our broken relationship with God. Now you are getting it and hopefully the boys and girls at home are getting it. Jesus doesn't just want us to celebrate him one day on Christmas, but he wants us to remember him and celebrate him and love him every day of the year. Oh, that is so Great. Okay, well, let's pray right now as a way to show God that we love him and thank him for what he has done for us on that first Christmas so many, many years ago. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for loving us. Thank you for sending your son, Jesus. Thank you that he came to us to rescue us and to make a way for us to be forgiven of our sins and to know you. We love you and thank you for your love for us and pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that's all the time we have for today. We really are so thankful and happy that you could join us here today. We will see you all right here next time on Kids Church TV. Bye for now. Merry Christmas.